Hey guys, it's Brittany from WholesomeBlessings.com. If you're new here, welcome. Every week I post a video and a blog post on my blog about intentional living, simple motherhood, and gluten-free eating. And this week we're talking about baby essentials. Um, I haven't had an itty bitty baby since about a year ago when I had my son Asher. He'll be turning one in two weeks and I can't believe it. So we are recapping on all the things that were essential to me in that first year. All right, let's get started. Baby has to have a clean, safe place to sleep, and we opted for a co-sleeper until Asher was about six months old. By that time, he was a little too wiggly to be in the co-sleeper, and we moved him to a mini crib. Um, my uncle made the co-sleeper, and the crib I have a link to in my blog and in the description box below and we love it. It's small and it can also transform um, into a toddler bed and a day bed and a twin size bed if I'm not mistaken. So we think that was a very good purchase. Number two, clothing. So we like to have more of a minimal approach to clothing because babies outgrow their clothing so quickly. So we have about five to ten onesies at a time in his size that he's currently wearing um, and as a newborn we did eight to ten sleepers because that's what we dressed him in most one to two pair of little mittens um, about five pair of socks and a sleep sack or two because we um, swallowed when he was tiny but once he outgrew the swaddle we started using a sleep sack to keep him warm at night and it was perfect three feeding. When Asher came home from the hospital, he was on one of two bottles of formula a day. So we purchased about four to eight bottles so we had some clean when we needed them. We also purchased a bottle brush which is a necessity when you are feeding with bottles. I was also pumping milk for the first two to three months so a breast pump was necessary for me um, and milk storage bags as well. And breast pads were necessary for me because I did have an oversupply. Number four, accessories. So Asher had some reflux when he came um, home from the hospital, so burp cloths were a must. We had four to six burp cloths at a time so that we could cycle through and wash them about every other day. Um, another crucial thing for us is a diaper bag, which I think it is for most parents. We had a normal, traditional diaper bag at first, and then we transitioned to a backpack style, which is my personal favorite because I can just slip it on my back and I have um, arms free to carry the baby. Another crucial thing for us was swaddles. We have about four Muslim swaddles from Aiden and Anai. Um, I believe that's how you pronounce that. And they are amazing. We use them for um, burping if the burp cloths were dirty. We use them for a light blanket because he was a summer baby, for swaddles, for breastfeeding covers, for um, car seat covers, for changing table. We use them for everything. And so those were an absolute must for us. Number five, a way to carry your baby. So this is one area that I don't have as much of a minimalistic mind. I love my boba wrap which is linked below and in my blog post. It is my favorite and it's convenient for babies from tiny up as they get bigger to toddlers. It can take some getting used to as you learn how to wrap, but it's one of my favorite ways to carry. I have my eye on a rain sling and um, a Secura Bloom carrier, which I hope is in our future. With my chronic illness, I can't always carry the baby though as it causes some pain in my neck and shoulders so we have a stroller as well and the car seat that we chose snaps into our stroller so that we can grab it and go when we're going into the store which really helps me when I'm having a bad day. Number six is my nice to have. So these are things that I could get by without but I really like. So number one would be a swing. When Asher was little he would not let me put him down and he was nursing 24 7 and a friend got us a little baby swing that would fit in our tiny house and it was a lifesaver. It was battery operated so we could carry it wherever we went and it went with friend, to friend's house with us, it went to church with us, it went everywhere and it was amazing. So 
even though it's on my nice to haves list, I would probably move that into my necessities. This, another thing on my nice to haves list would be a rocking chair. So you don't have to have a rocking chair. You can hold your baby and rock them to sleep anywhere, but a rocking chair is a nice comfortable place to sit. And we refurbished a, a one we found at a garage sale and it was a great project to do when I was pregnant and I really enjoyed it. But if I, with our next baby, whenever that will be, I think I will go with a stuffed recliner because it's a bit more comfortable. Another on my nice to haves list is a bobby pillow. So Asher hated tummy time when he was tiny and still is not a huge fan of it. So a bobby pillow did help with that as well as help support him when he was learning to sit and I used it for breastfeeding a lot in the early days. Well, there you have it. Those are my necessities. I have them all in a easy, beautiful printable on my blog. Um, the link is in the description box below. I hope you guys will join me next week for another video on intentional living, healthy eating, and simple motherhood. Bye! <music>